What's up, fans? Welcome back to the channel. You guys know how we do around here. Late night video, yeah? Shout out to the notification gang, gang, gang. And if you guys are new to the channel, make sure you guys subscribe because this is what we do and we do it daily. Hit that sub button. Now, you guys know what happened, right? Jay-Z dropped the 444 album and for a while, it had everyone's paintings in a bunch, man. Everybody was pissed off. <laughs> And I'm not gonna lie, I love the album. Haven't played it too much lately, but I still like it. There were some words that Jay-Z had on the album. Jay took some shots at Ye. In a way, it was like the big brother sitting the little brother down, but Kanye West and company didn't take it that way. You guys remember, even Kim Kardashian spoke out about it, right? She allegedly told TMZ that it was a low blow, especially seeing what Kanye West had to go through talking about his mental health and stuff. Now, I'm sure some of the stuff that pissed Kanye West off in the song was probably Jay exposing that he gave Kanye West 20 million and probably him calling Kanye West insane and saying that he wasn't the same guy that he once met. Anyway, you guys listen to this because Maul on the Joe Budden podcast said that he spoke to Kanye West in LA and Kanye West is aiming at Jay-Z. Anyway, you guys go check out the Joe Bunn podcast. Great, great, great podcast. I watch it every week. Had a cool little conversation with Kanye in LA. He uh, said he got he got a few words, you know, in response to what Jay had on 444, the next record that's coming out. So. Yeah. Did, did he mention when this might come out? On his album. On the album. Okay. It'll be on his album for sure. Come Whose on. phone is Come ringing? on, Ian. Come on, relax. <laughs> it's just the bag calling. He got a bag. That's Kanye calling. It might be. Well, that should be interesting. Did he seem uh, upset or was it just like a laughing, I got some shit coming back? Nah, or some malice, like, fuck him, I got some malice. shit coming back. It's some malice. He wasn't smiling. <laughs> well, Kanye, Kanye, Kanye don't smile. Yeah. No. no, no, no. He He was smiling before that conversation started. Mm -hmm. He was saying, you know, like he heard him. He said some funny shit. He said, uh, "Yeah, man, I, you know, I was, I was next to Jay for for years, standing right next to him. Why he didn't give me them jewels he put on the album? <laughs> I, thought, <laughs> I thought that was funny. Cause, like he was like, damn, man, he could have schooled me to all of this shit, you know, when I was right next to you. So I, I just kind of, you know, I, I was just looking at him like, I, I feel you, man. Well, guys, I think it's safe to say this whole situation is about to get messy. Here's the thing, as a fan. It's sad for me to see Kanye West going at Jay-Z or vice versa. The same way it was sad to see Kanye West against Kid Cudi. I, I just wonder what's going to happen in a situation. Usually you know what someone else is going to rank on someone about whenever they're going to diss them, right? In this situation, what the hell is Kanye West going to say about Jay-Z that's going to be a diss? I mean, is this guy going to pull out some exposed stuff that we don't even know? I'm sure there's some stuff that we don't even know about and Kanye West knows and he's probably going to end up dropping that information on the song. So I can't wait to see what's going to happen, but I wish these guys wouldn't do this. But hey, man, as a fan of music, I can't wait to hear it. You guys let me know what you think about this in the comment section below. Kanye West is going to respond to Jay-Z's 444 album. He wasn't too happy. Anyway, I'm Dominus Live. You guys have a great night. Thanks for watching.